What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here to ask and answer the question, how good is Arch Paladin class? Now, before we get into the video, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, that'd be amazing. But uh, yeah, so for enhancements on this class, I'd recommend you go with full luck, although you can mix in some wizard to enhance your survivability, but you are sacrificing your crit damage slightly. Um, it doesn't really make much of a difference, so either way is uh, fine. I would typically mix in a bit of uh, wizard if you're going into a tougher bu bu boss fight. Uh, but if you are going against like an easier boss, then I would recommend you just go full luck. I am going to be using full luck for the duration of this video. So, for your passives, there are three turtle passives, and uh, you've got two rank fours and one rank ten. So, for the two rank fours, they enhance your survivability. So, we've got the uh, first one, which is called Restitution, and it reduces incoming damage by 20%. And then you've got your second one, which makes your heals 20% better, and it's called Overwhelming Light. Then your rank 10 passive, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it does increase your damage by 20%. So you've got two survivability passives and one like damage passive. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have just a standard auto attack for your auto attack ability. But uh, as for your first ability, we have uh, ability called Commandment. And it consumes 10 mana, has a 5 second cooldown. Now this is pretty much your stack ability. You want to keep stacking this throughout your boss fight. Um, this is a solo win class, so I would recommend you just keep stacking this. Uh, the class is designed to get stronger and stronger the longer you stay within a boss fight. So, yeah, the, this this ability is where that sort of effect comes from. Now, this deals moderate damage to three enemies, so it is an AoE ability. Uh, so, it, your opponents are commanded by the light and have 2% less damage, dodge chance, crit chance, crit amount, hit chance, and they take 2% more damage, and that's per stack. Now, you can go up to 50 stacks, so you can multiply all those numbers by 50, so that's 2% so times 50 of less damage, dodge chance, crit chance, crit amount, hit chance, and then they take 2% times 50 more damage. And when you use this ability, fucking Windows Firewall just popped up, sweet. Um, we should turn that back on actually. Um, they last, the stack lasts 100 seconds, so you don't have to actually worry too much about like, oh shit, I'm losing some health, better start using my heal ability, oh crap, I can't apply commandment now, what do I do? So that you don't really get into that situation because it lasts 100 seconds. Also, every time you stack this ability for the first five uh, times you use the ability, uh, you, they receive a small DOT, and then after that, it increases in really small increments um, and that's because your enemies take 2% more damage as an effect of one of the classes, of one of the uh, effects of your commandment. So, yeah. That's commandment in a nutshell. As you can see, we're at a 62 DOT. Apply it, we're at a 96 DOT, so it's incrementing, uh, increasing in increments of 30. Now we're at 130 DOT. So we're, uh, we're, we're, doing, we're doing some pretty decent DOT there. And we got 160, and then one more, and we get 169. So that little increment we got just then was from the 2% damage increase, not from an, an, an increment of the 5. So yeah, your second ability is your heal, it's called uh, Hymn of Light, I don't know how to pronounce that, I, th I think it's just him. Um, and what it does is it heals you and 5 allies for a pretty large amount, it's 1.8k non-crit on yourself. It uh, also increases your endurance and defense by 20% for 6 seconds as well. Don't know if that's for yourself and your allies or just yourself, but uh, yeah. And that's for a duration of six seconds. So as you can see, I'm healing quite a bit and uh, I'm uh, easily staying alive during the Blood Titan's Blood Rage. So yeah, you can already safely say that the solo is Blood Titan quite easily. I haven't tried it out on the Ultra Fight yet, but uh, it is it has got very, very good survivability. Now, what increases that survivability is not only your commandment stacks, which, which uh, debuff your enemy, but your uh, third ability called Righteous Seal. Now this consumes 30 mana and has a 15 second cooldown. And what this does is it deals damage, moderate damage to three enemies, and when it does so, it reduces all the damage that you will do by 50%, but it also reduces all the damage your opponents will do by 90%, and that's for 10 seconds. So during the duration, I'll apply it, he just went through a Blood Rage, and because he's got that effect on him, he's actually only doing about 220 damage, and he'd usually be doing about double that. So it's quite a significant buff, uh, quite a significant survivability mechanic and it's actually really interesting we haven't really seen much of that sort of thing in any other classes before so it's actually really interesting to see something like that now your last ability is your nuke and what this consumes is 90 mana so that's a lot of mana there now it's cooldown is 35 seconds and i believe this used to be 60 seconds so they have actually listened to the community and they have adjusted the cooldown up uh, down to 35 seconds unless i'm just wrong and it was always 35 seconds but regardless i thought it was a lot longer than that but it's not now, 
It deals massive damage buffed by the stacks of commandment up to five stacks. So uh, if you don't if you use this on it by itself, it's not gonna deal much damage. But those five stacks, first five stacks of commandment are gonna really affect the damage. It's similar to how that DOT works. Um, but then after the five stacks, you're still actually increasing your own damage by two percent per stack. So technically you can increase this uh, abilities damage infinitely well up to 50 times on that first commandment ability so you should really consider like when you're using this i personally wouldn't wait that long just because it's not worth the amount of time it takes but yeah this consumes 70 mana so i'm gonna wait a sec um but once you use sacred magic eden you actually can't a uh, stack commandment for another eight seconds after that so you actually it actually does uh, affect that in some way um it also has a 20% chance to stun undead for 3 seconds. So we'll use Sacred Magic Eden and we'll see what we can do. So we got a 25k crit. So it's a it's a really, really quite a good good little crit we got there. And uh, I have been actually I've been struggling to get it to crit, but for the last like three times in a row I've got it to, I've managed to make it crit, so I don't know, it's weird. Um either way, I'm losing a lot of health right now, so all I do is I just uh, apply the Righteous Seal, and keep in mind you can keep putting commandment stacks on, it's just they're not dealing as much damage, but that doesn't matter, you're still stacking it up at the end of the day. So uh, again, he's going through his Blood Rage, and I just apply my heal, and I, my defense, and my endurance is obviously increased, and uh, by the time he deals all that damage to me, I just heal again. Mana isn't really much of an issue for this class, uh, It's it, it does actually lack somewhat in its damage output a little bit, just because you got to like really balance the way you're using your Sacred Magic Eden. I'd recommend you just get like let's say 10 stacks of your, um, your, whatchamacallit, your commandment stacked up and then go for the Sacred Magic Eden. I wouldn't bother waiting around till you got full 50 stacks, you're just going to be waiting too long. Uh, but regardless, I really do like this class. It's really, really, it's, it's got some unique mechanics. I think Pisces has done a great job with this. Uh, Pisces was the designer, so if you've got any feedback you want to give him, then, uh, I'll leave his Twitter link in the description down below. That about does it for our video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.